Little Maylight, ill kids, and in the day, summer crashed out, woke up, smashed out, went to breakfast with money that I am about, back to her house, see how it played out, this shit got serious, this is what came out. Wiki, How first of all, welcome officially to Warsaw. Thanks for this great concert here at Hydrozagatka Club. Uh, it's awesome having you here. How are you feeling? How's the tour so far and how's the concert today? Yeah, I feel good. Tour has been really good. Uh, I think this has been one of the illest shows. The crowd showed mad love. It was good. We didn't know what to expect because I've only really opened up out here. So, you know, it's different. When you open it up, it's a little different. Mm -hmm. So, and it was like a big, big show. This shit was like mm -hmm. fire. The crowd was great. Yeah, I felt great about it. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. So, I'd like to start basically at the, at the beginning, but on, on a small interesting fact that I noticed actually just recently. Um, I'm not sure that all, all of your fans know that, but you have your own flag. Wiki flag. Oh yeah, the wiki yeah. flag, yeah. Which is like combined Puerto Rican and, and Irish flag. Yeah, yeah. So that kind of made me, uh, you know, create a question. Like, because you're half Puerto Rican and half Irish. Yeah, yeah. So how does, how does this uh, Puerto Rican and Irish roots, how does it influence uh, you as a person in your music? I think it's kind of like, for me, I think it's like... Uh, well, I'm from in New York. I'm from New York, so New York is just a really, you know, it's like that's the first stop. Mm -hmm. You get me? So, like, with my dad, he's from Puerto Rico, you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But with my mom, she's like Irish-American, but just that blood of her family came through there. So, it's just about having pride where you're, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. I think in a lot of other places in America, the the you kind of lose some of that. Not all of it necessarily in every place, but you just become American. Where in New York, you really hold on to that. It's like you you hold on to that flag, and it's like just that. Like in New York, you'll see a, everywhere you go, you see the Puerto Rican flag everywhere. Like they they, you know what I mean? They go hard. So it's like for me, it was just about one having pride in who I am, but also kind of being stuck in the middle a little bit. Like, oh, am I on this side or am I on that side? So I'm like, I got to create my own shit. You know what I mean? That like, I can just be proud of. You know what I mean? It's kind of some little kid, like, imagination shit. You know, like, create my own world. And I think all of this, you know, it's like music, everything we be doing, it's creative. It comes stems from that, like, childhood, just creativity, imagination, and just mm -hmm. keeping a hold of that. You know what I mean? And trying to, like, hone that. So I feel like it really stems from that, like, just being young and, like, seeing seeing my imagination through you know like seeing my weird idea you know what i mean just, yeah. just like going for it it's on it i always say this in the interviews but it's like some wu-tang shit like the shit they were into they ma made that their mythology they create you know what i mean yeah. they're creating yeah. the world yeah, like world plus, building plus you know what i mean samples, right? yeah exactly yeah and so that they can have they were like no one fucks with Staten island we shaolin like because that's what we were into uh -huh. you know what i mean it's like so I think it's something like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. So speaking of New York, because um, I just want to look how to put it. Basically, um, you and like you, Wiki, as a rapper, and New York, like those terms are just inseparable. I like that. And <laughs> and uh, I was reading some interviews uh, with you just to prepare for for this one. And one question in one interview just uh, like kind of stuck to me the way it was phrased. So one interviewer interviewer asked you, uh, or actually basically stated that 
you represent like the real NYC spirit, the real spirit of New York City. So I'm curious, like, how do you understand this phrase, like real, real spirit of New York City? I think that the real spirit of New this it's like New York is such a big place. I would I can't claim the real spirit of New York, but what I can say is that I have appreciation for all that, and I think New York is about like. There's no New York one type of New York. You know what I mean? There's so many. It's about just anything, everything. You know what I mean? So, I think it's more like in my music. I'm a I'm a observer. You feel me? I'm like a observe me shit and like try to write it in the right. You know what I mean? Express it in the right way. So I'm more like I feel like a representation for the New York spirit. You know what I mean? Like. Mm -hmm. yeah. I am New York and I have the New York spirit, but I'm not the one. Yeah. I'm definitely a representation for the whole New York, you know what I mean? And I want to put on for every part of New York and all that. So it's like I can still like channel that spirit, you get what I mean? On every side. That's what I'm that's like what I'm trying to do on some like muse shit on some bard, like a bard. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you just telling <laughs> the stories of the city and you telling your story along the way. But you also it's it's bigger than you. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I feel like in my music, it's, it can be really personal, but sometimes it's personal through New York, and that's more for the whole city. And it can also be for other cities because people relate to it, what it is to be a, in a big city like that. You know what I mean? So it's like the show Hey Arnold. You know Hey Arnold? Yes. <laughs> that show is like, it's not based in one city, but that show was ill because it was like, any kid that lived in a city was like, yo, this is about us. You know how, like, shows are always based in the suburbs? Like, that show was, like, in the city. You're like, yo, this is, like, kids like us in the city. You know what I mean? So I feel like even that, it doesn't even have to be New York, just that idea of that cultural hub of different different worlds colliding and everyone together in one place, the melting pot. That's, like, a, that's a worldwide thing. You get what I mean? So that's kind of what it is. I think it's even bigger than New York, but New York is just... A representation for the city, you know what I mean? It's like when you think about the big, it's New York, you know what yeah, I mean? But yeah. it's like it could be anything, you know what I mean? So, yeah, like uh, I like the way you, you describe it. And now that I'm thinking that, like, the two albums I definitely wanted to ask you about in this interview um, first, first is this one, of course, yeah, there you go. Half God, Half God baby. and the other one is uh, so shout out Navy Blue, shout out my man Navy Blue, yeah. And the other album is uh, So It Goes by Rat King, which ah, is like a yeah, freaking phenomenal the album. He's tapped in, he knows. And uh, whenever I listen to those albums, I, I get the feeling, um, for me, they're like a bit, uh, they're like all about New York, but like in the in the layer of sound. Rat King, So It Goes is all about like this, it's all about intensity. It's like the yeah. sound of like intensity of the city just captured and like you know explosives explosiveness youth rebellion and half god is basically like the other side which is like the whenever i listen to half god is basically um it's an album by um someone who found his oasis in this like cr crazy city that's how i feel and I'm trying to yeah. get back to feeling that way like i have god i was in a bro i was like I was just ta you know I felt good. I was like sober at the time. I was smoking mad weed, but I didn't, I was quit drinking for like two months. You know what I mean? I was yeah. just in my like I felt focus. That, yeah, I was focused, but in a good, just like happy. You know what I mean? I was just on my shit. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to ask you about uh, like going back to so it goes. It's like from time's perspective, because like it's soon next year. It's gonna be like ten years from uh, yeah. from so it goes so how do you look at this this album the sound that you created uh with uh, sporting life and hack um like yeah how do you look at this album at this whole era so it goes i still like miss that you know what i mean that energy that rat king energy just because it was like a time and it was like we were getting pushed i was getting pushed you know what i mean like in a sense of like, it wasn't just like whatever I want, all right, like who am I working with, whatever. It was like, nah, we working on this, this is what we doing. It was like this band mentality, you know what I mean? 
And we was in a band. That's how we looked at it. Like, we rap, but we were in a band. So it's kind of different. Everyone had to play their role and, like, giving their little creativity. And that's fun because then you have something to bounce it off, you know, pushing and pulling. But at the same time, it ends up, the, you know, all everything aligns right. The, it's like what, whatever happened, happened. Like, so it goes, you know what I mean? Like, I was like that. Like, we first... We first made it, and it was like we had the idea. A lot of those songs we were playing for like, ye- like a year, a year and a half, before we even recorded them. You know what I mean? So we was really on our band shit. To me, that's what made so it goes what it was. We like had that spirit of like we were all mm-hmm. working together. It wasn't no like all right, y'all making the beats for me. It was like we're you know what I mean? It was like Hawk, Wick, Sport. We're all. Mm-hmm equal parts of the thing you know what i mean and sport was the really the one that was like driving the sound and like he was older than us sports like 10 years older than us so he was like the one who was like all right yo put on this one this shit all that mm-hmm. yeah so and then at the same time then us me and hawk at that time we grew up together and then we were like at that age where we were just you know graduating high school and I you know just out of high school we were like yo shit is you know how you feel at that age yeah so it's just about expressing it same shit you know what I mean like with me now I'm like it's like what you're saying like figuring out what I want in my life and you know trying to figure out how to express that it's different you, you get to an age like I gotta figure shit out then I was like free you know going with it free Half God, I felt that in the same way. I was, whew, I was just like, it was like post pandemic, a little bit. You know what I mean? But like, I made it kind of the end. It was like, just like a time where I had space and everything to like really follow it through and like, mm-hmm. just it's the time I was in, you know. And that's what I love about it because there's all, you know what I mean? There's the you go up, ups, you go ups down, and downs. ups and the downs. But not, not, it's never a down, but it's just the, the trajectory. It's all going up. You know what I'm saying? It's just one of them ones. You know what I'm saying? And trying to figure it out with your own life and your own spirit and all that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So one interesting thing that uh, like, uh, I notice, uh, if I'm incorrect, you know, feel free to correct me. me. But uh, when I'm looking at the cover of Half God, um, I get the strong like comparisons vibes that it's in technique like the collage thing. Yeah, it's I made the cover, right? Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah, it's my shit. What? <laughs> that, you gotta see the vinyl, John. Come on. I made the cover. So the cover. Was, this, this, that's what I was saying. Like I was in that moment. I was like, bro. I was making it, uh, bro. We made that and we put it out. It wasn't no like waited on it for months. Like I, I made the cover because I was like, we need the cover. Mm-hmm. And my homie that was like gonna make the cover like wasn't I was like I needed the cover now and I I just started making some shit like I was tapped in you know what I mean mm-hmm. so I noticed like for my me my bad you tell me about the cover oh. so for me the the cover of Half God like it gives me like a strong it reminisces me of the cover of your first mixtape Lil, Lil Me like yeah because guess what I made the cover of my first mixtape Lil Me so was this connection like intentional? as well so no nah, it's just it's just the moments it's like what i was saying before it's just like everything be hit, clicking at a certain time you're like all right like I, I was feeling it but even that one low-key low me i can't take full credit andrew cast my man really made the collage that was just all my shit little me the cover because it's like it was when i was moving out of my mom's crib my mom was moving out of the crib where i was with Warren. <laughs> But she's moving out, I'm moving out. But I was going on tour at the same time I was moving out. So, a long tour. So, I was like, I had all this extra shit. And I was like, yo, just take all this shit. And Andrew Cass, like, made the collage out of that. But it was like, I, I like, am the one who picked the, the items. Like, yo, I want I want to use this. I want to use it. You know what I'm saying? So, and then I did the little me and all that. But this one was really me in my crib, like, fucking figuring it out. And, and like, that's what, I don't know, that's what I was in Half God. It was, like, just discovery. Like, yo, just going in it with a beginner's mind, you know? Like, yo, just 
fuck what anyone thinks, just run it. And same shit with the art. It was just like, yo, I'm making this, whatever. Mm-hmm. Figuring it out, like getting frustrated, all that shit. But not, not like holding myself back and like letting my, you know what I mean? Stopping myself out, like, oh, just, just let running you go, it, like having that belief in it. Yeah, exactly. And I think that's why Half Guys is like hella personal and like, not only personal, it's like real in that way where it's like, I'm not trying to like put no fucking shell on and like, it's like, mm-hmm. letting it off. Yeah, it's like, yo, this is, what up? You know what I mean? Letting it off, exactly. It's freeing. It was like freeing for me, Half God. Mm-hmm. So actually, now that I think like the, your latest project as of now. Cold the, Cuts. The, no, the Puppy Seat. Oh, Street. they know about it. Yeah. Oh my God, I didn't even think no one's going to know about it. The, the cover is also like a bit of a collage. Yeah, I did right a collage now. on it, but that's because yeah. Poppy C Street is like, all those songs, I fuck with those songs, but it's just songs that never like, ended up on, it's just like I was sitting on for a minute and I was like, I need to put some, I want, I, it's songs I wanted pe- my fans to hear, but it wasn't like, you know, it's like you got to figure it out. I just wanted it to be for the fans, you know? It's me having fun. Like, that's me having fun making music. And I want to be able to do that, you know? Mm-hmm. I don't want everything to be so fucking serious. Why do we do it in the first place? Like, to have fun and make music. So it's like, it's, it's like me experimenting on my homies' beats. That's what that is. Like, LaRon's on two of them yeah. beats. And LaRon, bro, I got more heat with LaRon. That's crazy. I got that on deck for... Mm. You get what I'm saying? That's oh, different. Nice. Those are the ones I was just like... Not that I... W- it was just like, this ain't necessarily gonna be on my album, but it's like, yo, I need I, I need to put it out because it's just fly and it's hard or it's like, it meant something to me. And it's like, I can't... Something that means something so much to me, I put so much heart into... I'm gonna put it out, and we just wanted to keep that raw, you know, like keep it like m- mixtape style, not overthink it, you know what I mean, not over mix and master it. Just like I recorded most of that shit, like all in my crib, like you know what I mean. So just regular, but we gotta talk about cold cuts. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. I wanted to ask, like, was it the, like, did you have the same mentality of just you know having fun? Cold with, cuts, with cold cuts. No, yeah, cold cuts is hard because cold cuts was my like post half god. I was like, ah, I'm on fire now. You get what I'm saying? So then that's why I'm cold cuts. I'm just wrapping my ass off. Yeah, yeah. But cold cuts is really is that after half god we went on tour and I was with subject and we've been working, but then we started tapping in and like subject is just the maniac. Like he's the future for real. He got every type. You know what I mean? Like because you got. I don't know if you heard Cold Cuts, but you got, like, come on. Yeah. You got, what's the joint on Cold Cuts with me and Navy? One more chance. One more oh, chance. Yeah. Oh, damn it. Sorry, I, sorry, I didn't remember the one title. One more I chance, I, bro. Go listen I, I, back yeah. to One More Chance. Yeah. Sub yeah, made that a, beat. It's a good track. With it's Lord good, Unknown. Lord, Shout Lord out Lord Unknown. It. That's the one feature on the whole project beat-wise. Lord unknown. But yeah, man, like he bro, Sub is a maniac. So that was us on our like mixtape. Like we we turning up, we doing everything we wanna do. Not like it's it's not this like spiritual awakening. It's not like it's not like oh we making this crazy album, it's us hip hop. That was when I was really inspired on after Half God I just had a we was on tour and then the, the locks Dipset verses came out. I was just like, bro, this is my shit. Hip hop, bro. This is the essence. Like, so I was just inspired. And I was like, yo, we running some. Me and Sub are gonna go crazy with some mixtape fly, like everything you want, what up, or everything we want. That's what I like about the mixtape shit. It's like, it's creative in that same way. It's like, fuck it. We just running it. You know what I mean? And I, I like that. I like to be able to do that. You know what I mean? What's the point? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. <laughs> But that's the thing. I got some shit coming out. I ain't even gonna tell you about. Mm-hmm. You don't yeah, even want to know. You're gonna be like, yeah. why? Why I ain't say that? <laughs> I think like b- uh, between Cold Cuts and Poppy Seed, there was another project with you. It was a EP, one more, uh, with you, Mike, and like produced by The Alchemist. Yeah, there we like, go. Can you can you tell us about bits about this project? Is like a snippet of something else to come as well. 
<laughs> it just might be. It just <laughs> might be. I shouldn't. I gave you. The, I gave you. The, no, I'm just playing. Nah, we got some shit. We got some shit. I don't want to talk about it because I don't want to be the one out of the three to be like, oh my god. Uh, we I got see. some I shit. See. Yeah, I we got see. some shit. Mm-hmm. I don't know about when and where, but it's there. It exists. You will see it soon. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> oh man, I shouldn't, um, I shouldn't have said it. So actually, switching the topic and actually going back to to New York, yeah, um, I would just like to get your perspective on like uh, over all these years, like how did you how do you think the New York, the city itself, has changed? Oh, I mean, New York is crazy right now. It's, New York's gone through so much change over the years, but then recently, over the years, it's always been like constant. It's New York, you know. So I think it's like it hits everywhere. It hits all the cities, but New York's like the f- one of the first ones, at least in America. It's like it's hitting that first, you know. But recently, it's crazy because I think it's that like during COVID and all that and the pandemic, it was like no everyone left, everyone left, and it was kind of it was kind of ill in the sense like New York was all locals there only locals was in New York and then okay. <laughs> everyone came back times a million like it was like you know what I mean it went from like okay. yeah. alright now it's crazy so like also I live in like a neighborhood that's like very very smashed with gentrification right now I'm in the LES but it's like which I love the lower but where I'm at specifically there's a many parts of the lower the block I'm on specifically is just the hub of that shit so I'm like oh, I need to get the fuck out of here not like that but I'm kind of trying to move maybe to like maybe uptown Brooklyn Queens just out of out of the center you know what I mean get back to just the real New Yorkers because it's really and not only New Yorkers the real New Yorkers are the immigrants that's everyone but not the like you get what I mean no the community everyone know the bar you know what I'm saying yeah. so yeah New York is crazy man it's really it's intense it's intense and it's like it's something that like you learn to grow with but as you get older I'm always like not trying to be a hater but as I get older I'm like bro I'm becoming that like old head hating <laughs> motherfucker you know but I try to keep an open mind and like not let that shit ruin my whole life you know but at the same time it does make me realize like I don't need to be in New York forever I used to be like I'm gonna be in New York forever now I'm like I want to travel more even outside of touring I want to be able to just go somewhere and like spend time there I'm probably gonna end up back in New York but you get what I mean like mm-hmm. get some perspective you know yeah That's actually what I wanted to ask about at some point as well, because uh, you tour a lot, you travel a lot. Like we talked, you, you've been in Poland a couple of times yeah. already. So, how does like traveling, touring um, influence you as a person as well? Touring is hell, man. It's like it's also it's a, not to make it like this, but it's a post <laughs> pandemic, pre pandemic shit for me too. Because like when I was on. I was in Europe when pandemic hit, like, mm-hmm. I played the last show in London, like, the night, literally before everything was shut down, yeah, and then I went to Paris, everything was shut down, I couldn't play, then I went to Amsterdam, couldn't play, boom, 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 so I was on a good tour there, so kind of like, I feel like that was like a, a, I was getting that tour energy where I was like really excited, and then all that happened, and then getting back, I had to get back into it, that was the longest time I... That longest time I was like in the city, like the whole time. You get what I mean? And I was out in Long Island too, for a little bit with my mom. But then I was back in the city, Long Island. It's like right out there. You get what I mean? And then for like a month, but like nah, like after getting back, it was a process. But now I'm like I'm feeling it come back. But I think the crowds is you know it's different. I don't know if y'all know like peep that but the whole energy be a little different people a lot of the young people didn't go to shows for two years so they're a little like flustered or like they don't know how to like not they don't know how to it's like 
Just getting back in the, You know what I mean It's like you never learned You never went to the show Get back into the groove That's the perfect way to put it What you just said Getting back into the groove Exactly It's like If you ain't go to show For two years You're gonna be like Oh what the fuck Like you know what I mean Like I'm awkward again You know like how it is Like yeah. first show you go to You're like Looking around you know, People looking at me, No one gives a fuck They're just enjoying the show Like just enjoy yourself yeah. You know what I mean So I think it's like That but I think it'll come back It'll come back like Full forward eventually I hope because Live that's like That's the way That's the that's the best way to see it man But and I And you know This shit like Poland tonight Y'all fucking Killed it tonight I'm saying y'all killed it Like y'all like Y'all made me kill it Cause y'all turned me up You know what I mean Y'all brought me there You get what I mean Like it could've yeah, been like the, the energy was there And like, the recipe uh, was amazing And I would've I would've killed it either way But Y'all brought the extras yeah. You know what I mean Like And that's cause of like Your energy I, I appreciate it For real Like Hell yeah Actually one last One last question about uh, New, New York Uh, because I remember I was listening like this past week I was listening to No Mountains in Manhattan the album mm. and on the track uh, Chinatown Swing Chinatown I Swing I remember listening to, listening to it and like at the very end I think you mentioned uh, Columbus Park Columbus Park yeah, yeah. which is like I've been uh, I've been in New York like of You was in Columbus Park, right? Yeah, and <laughs> I was lit, like right? it was I think five years ago and Columbus Park like is by far Like, uh, um, it's like I've right by like, bookings. What? Right, right by bookings. Yeah, yeah. I basically, I basically like discovered it by accident. I was just like roaming yeah, through, yeah, yeah. through Manhattan, and it's just like mad Chinese who was gambling, yeah, like yeah. playing the flute and shit. Like, yeah, like the, the so vibe hard. there and like, everything. It was by far it became my favorite place in New York. <laughs> that shit's hard. There so, you go. That's hard. Yeah. <laughs> Columbus Park, bro. That's crazy. I fuck with that. Cause that's a random park, bro. Low key, and it's in Manhattan, but it's a random park. You, you yeah. talking about the downtown one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. That's just my shit. So I wanted to ask, like, of course, if you want to share, Columbus Park's like a good place. You get peace, and like, cause there be parks where it's like everyone's out. Ah, ah, that park you could like go, and it's like chill. This is another like, like I'm not even in this world. I'm just chilling, enjoying the scenery. You know? Yeah, yeah, and. Yeah, like that's a perfect. That's way to fire, play. bro. Right, <laughs> Columbus Park is hard, and you don't know how many days. Like, right, like we used to kick it in Columbus Park back in the day. Rack, I remember days of Rat King, like just taking in the scenery, you know. Yeah, yeah. The sounds and the smells and the just people just running. Yeah, that's just hard. I appreciate that, man. For yeah. real. So, like, <laughs> again, if you want to share it, uh, that would be awesome. Uh, do you have like a you know favorite spot in New York that not many tourists uh, know about, but like it's your hundred hundred percent like this is your place? But food spot, you saying? Like, I'm whichever, just anything, whichever, basically. Anything. It's my place. Shit. I'm trying to think. Oh, these are the hardest questions. <laughs> <laughs> They all close. <laughs> Most of them. I'm trying to think about like. Was still open Cause I would've said Back in the day I would've been like Pakistani tea house Or it would've mm. been like There's spots I would've said I'm Trying to think Maybe uh I got you K and K deli Right there Boom bro That's It's not like a gem Or nothing It's just That's a deli I feel comfy at Like they know me there That's my people mm. K and K deli It's I don't even think It's called that anymore I might have changed the name Okay. To just like Delhi. Yeah, like we have to have to remember that K and K Delhi, right? Yeah. <laughs> and then go in there and be like, "Yo, what's good with Wiki? Y'all know Wiki?" And they'll be like, "Yo, Wiki, that's our people." <laughs> I'm telling you. Shout out Go Mario. <laughs> Come on. Um. So in our interviews, we also like to ask about um uh, some interesting collaborations that the artists do, and uh, two I wanted to ask about. I mean, first one is again from No Mountains in Manhattan. Uh, what's the history of of Made for This with Ghostface? Uh, we got my a friend of mine had a, was like friends with Ghost, so he like hooked it up and made it happen. I played a show with Ghost, but we wasn't there together when we recorded it. He like sent in the verse. No, oh, okay. But me and Ghost, we played a show together. That shit was crazy. In NYU, we played a show and like. I remember I was smoking weed with Capadonna and fucking Ghost, bro. 
And then I did the dumbest shit ever. I like, you know, like them sinks that are automatic. Yeah, yeah. I like tried to ash the blunt in the sink <laughs> and it just washed the blunt out. And I'm like, no, why did I do this? <laughs> and yeah. I was like, wow, but it was all good. They were cool. They showed love. It was good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, the other one, just like a great, great track. Uh, they actually found, I think, by accident. Um, I don't remember which year was it, but you did a complex city cipher with oh, yeah. your old Duke, Drew with and Ferg. Ferg and Christian Scott. Yeah, as well. Christian Scott. Come yeah. on, of course, can't forget. Yeah. What's what's the story behind this this? I don't know. It's some press shit they had me do, and I was like, "Yo, fuck with Ferg, I fuck with Drew, so I'm gonna do it." And then Christian Scott was cool. We we went there. They like figured out the different things. We, you know, they were like, "We have a couple different like things we've been coming up with." What do you guys fuck with? Boom, boom, boom. We figured it out. And then I just had the verse. I ripped that. That shit was hard. That verse is hard. Yeah, you right. Yeah. That verse is hard. Yeah, yeah. Damn. That's like at dope. the very start too as well. Like, like It's the first, in the first in the track. Oh, yeah. I started yeah. out. Yeah. 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 I forgot. That was cool. I remember like rolling up that day like not knowing what the fuck was going to happen, you know? And that's what's so funny. I had no idea, but I had the verse tight. And I'm like, all right. And then people all the time be like, yo, people don't even know my shit really. They be like, or, or like people discover my shit through that, a lot of people. They be like, yeah, you was on that Ferg shit. I seen that shit. You going crazy. You know what I mean? It's random. But it's just, it was like a press thing, but it was cool. And I'm hyped we did it because that shit be weird. Random things just be hitting. I don't know. Um, so, okay. I, I think... Last question uh, uh, would be <laughs> the final, final. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. Talk okay, to I me. won't torture, torture you anymore. No, I didn't say. I didn't say. So, I said, talk to me. Talk to me. Ah, okay. <laughs> no, I was saying, talk to me. I wasn't saying, torture yeah. me. I was no, saying, no, no, talk no. to me. No, yeah. Um. Actually, basically, you did. You did address. Uh, I was kind of thinking should should i ask you for like what are your plans for the future when it comes to like albums or materials but like you did yeah i got, you did mention that you know i got it wanna i'm gonna tell you right now i got whatever we was talking about earlier mm-hmm. and then yeah. i got it's not i right, we got that and then i got uh we got also wiki tony salsa project coming out but that's poland exclusive no one you know tony salsa tony salsa I've I heard the name, but I don't remember Tap in. listening. Tap in, he works with everyone in the whole game. But that's my bro. We work we I've known him since I was young. He's from New York. LaRon's cool with him. LaRon's got a couple collabs on that production wise. Popo's on that. But I got a whole project with him, so you gotta tap in with that. That's coming crazy. It's all done. And then after that I'm trying to take my time and make what's next. Because I've been doing all these collab projects, you know? And the ne- next thing I want to do is take my time and just figure out really what I want to do next, you know what I mean? But I got, like, two projects already lined up, like, gonna drop. So there's, there's shit there. There's a lot there. Awesome. Awesome. We can't wait. I'm excited, too. Mm-hmm. I'm just stressed because I got to then think. Nah, I'm not stressed. I'm like, you know, life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Life in the pursuit. You know what I mean? No. Not even the pursuit of happiness, just the pursuit of life. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's how I be feeling. I'm like, just gotta keep going, man. Yeah. But it's sometimes you gotta take that time. Mm-hmm. That's what I, I'm about to do. You ain't gonna see me. You ain't gonna. Nah, I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm gonna be out here. I'm gonna be out here. Mm-hmm. I appreciate y'all, man, for real. Mm-hmm. Uh, like when you talked about life right now, I just like you just I just suddenly remember the lyrics from from Cold Cuts from, like from the from the last from the last track that actually that kind of struck me. But uh, I can't I can't say them like word by word. But life is uh, taking a, like it's about taking something decrepit and add, adding beauty to it. Uh, oh that, yeah, that was yeah. Like no, I, I was I talking about hip hop. Yeah, I love that. Talking about hip hop on that one. Yeah. Saying it's about taking something decrepit and adding beauty to it, mm-hmm. but hip hop is life, so same thing. Yeah. So yeah, um, absolutely. Last thing, uh, do you have any message for your friends in Poland? Warsaw, I love you, Poland. I love you. I'm gonna be back. 
Y'all were the greatest. Y'all raised my spirits, and I appreciate it. Real shit. Thank you for g- Thank giving you. me some time to talk. Thank you. Real Thank shit. you so much. Yeah, of course. Come on, my guy. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah. Hell yeah.